Hello and welcome to another one of Sporty's product pirate videos. Today we're flying with the Four Flight Sentry ADSB receiver. Uh, we've got it mounted over here on the window of our Cirrus. Um, it's connected up to Four Flight. We're going to go take it flying and see how it does. Sentry isn't the first ADSB receiver from Four Flight. In 2017, they released Scout, a really small, inexpensive ADSB receiver. At 199, it was a great value, but it didn't have GPS, AHARS, or a built-in battery, so it was somewhat limited. Four Flight has uh, solved all those gaps with Sentry here. It does include dual band traffic, includes ADSB weather, but also has that built-in battery and attitude heading reference system, or AHARS, for backup attitude. So it's a really complete package, and it also has a couple surprises in there. Like most portable ADSB receivers, Sentry is really easy to use. You just mount it, turn it on, connect it to your iPad, and open up Four Flight. Sentry comes with a pretty handy suction cup mount. So here we've got a ram suction cup mount on the side window, and then Sentry just twists in. And once it snaps into place like that, it's really solid. You can do it one-handed. And then just turn it on by pushing the one power button there. Open up Four Flight, and you're ready to look at traffic and weather. The connection between Sentry and your iPad is Wi-Fi, which allows up to five devices to connect at the same time. This is great for a pilot and a co-pilot to both connect at the same time with different tablets or for you to connect your iPad and an iPhone as a backup device. Wi-Fi also allows you to do easy firmware updates through ForeFlight, so if new features or performance enhancements come along, you can just download the latest version of ForeFlight and send that firmware update over Wi-Fi. There's no computer cables or connections or anything complicated to worry about. So the Sentry has an AHARS unit in it for backup attitude, which powers synthetic vision. Now the first time you turn on the Sentry, it's going to ask you where you're mounting it in the cockpit, the left, the right window, or on the dash. Um, after you do that, then the AHARS is driven by the Sentry unit, and all that information is on your ForeFlight app, um, driving the synthetic vision for the attitude, um, as well as pitch bank roll, um, and it's actually quite a very responsive unit. So a new feature on the Sentry is the CO monitor. So there's a light on the unit. It will also alert you through an audio noise on the, on the unit, which is audible over our headsets. And then there is also an in-app notification. What this is doing is it's monitoring the cockpit for any carbon monoxide uh, emissions. And what it's going to do is if it's under 35 ppm, then it's OK. It's going to be green. Anywhere between 35 to 50, it turns yellow. And you're going to start to notice it. And then 50 and above, the light will turn red. And then it's going to alert you that there is an issue and you need to uh, pay attention to it. One of the questions we get a lot is comparing the Sentry to the Stratus 3 ADSB receiver. They're both full-featured ADSB, GPS, AHARS units that work with ForeFlight. They both have a built-in battery. The short answer is they're both really good units, so there's not a wrong answer. Sentry does have a little bit longer battery life. It's uh, advertised at 12 hours, which is about what we've seen, versus about eight hours, eight and a half hours for Stratus 3. Uh, Sentry also has the carbon monoxide alarm, which Stratus 3 does not. Stratus 3 does have a couple of additional features. It works with other apps besides ForeFlight using an open ADS-B mode. It also um, has some external antenna options. So if you wanted to build the, the Stratus into your home build or if you own an airplane you wanted to remote mount it, you have options for external GPS and ADS-B antennas, which Sentry does not have. In terms of performance, they're really pretty similar. We've flown with both the Stratus 3 and the Sentry here today, and we've seen basically the same reception with ADS-B. They'll, they'll jump around a little bit, but we've had really good luck with both of them. We had six, seven towers uh, here in Ohio at uh, about 2,000 feet AGL. So really good ADS-B reception. GPS locks on fast. The AHARS works well on both. So we haven't noticed a big performance difference between the two. It's really a matter of those couple differences in features when making the decision. The unit itself comes in a nice carrying case with a USB-C cable. Um, you'll need to bring your own USB charger, uh, but anything that charges your iPad would be able to do this as well. 